Now, I was born in a little village uh, called Gando. It's uh, very known today. Um, where I was born, there was no, no school. Um, there was even no access to clean drinking water. Um, and there was no electricity. But there is still no electricity today. Where is home? When I fly, when I arrive in Burkina, I am happy to see my mom. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy to start to speak more. So I'm happy to say whatever I want to say without trying to be good, to please some people, uh, without having fear that someone may listen to me. Mm -hmm. uh, so without fearing to be politically incorrect. Um, but if I am in Germany, if I'm in Berlin, I walked away. I don't need to pay attention to say hello, hello, hello. Sometimes I feel myself good with that. So the, the anonymity, sometimes you need it. Uh, in Burkina, sometimes I love to see my people coming to tell stories. But sometimes, you know, it's, uh, I have become, in terms of modernity, a product from mm -hmm. Europe. I love literature, you know. Um, simply, not intellectually, but because home, we tell a lot of stories, you know. You sit in the darkness with no light, and the grandma tells stories. So I love the drama in the stories. Being everywhere, doing what I'm doing, and being forced to travel a lot is not sustainable at all, really. So if we think about the footprint, you know, uh, where it is, but that is the price you have to pay if you do what I'm doing, you know. I, uh, I, I like to be here to share experience with you, to potentially learn from you. So this will lead you to travel a lot. Um, but the, the, the thing that happening now is you have become a global citizen, you know. I can call Europe my home today, saying where I, I, I work most uh, is Germany and Switzerland. Um, it is because I had the chance, you know, to benefit from your structure. So. It is enabling me, for example, to do something like this, uh, using your knowledge, things that you have. Being in Ghana will never be able to do that. But what you see is like a engineering, it's a design. It's about how you use structure that you have learned here uh, to, to, to tell a story, a story from Africa, a story of your grandmother sitting uh, and by accident people join her to listen to stories. There's no boundary any, anymore. Mm. So people will come to your place. If you keep your place like a safe planet, and you keep saying, I'm talking about Africa now, and say, it is not a good place, it's dangerous, too much war, too much dictatorship, and you try to overvalue your place, your place, and you keep neglecting this place, you know what will happen? People will keep coming to your place because it's, you say you are the best place. It, listen to me. So, um, so you have to stop. You have to help make heroes in Africa. If you don't create heroes there, they will come to you because you are our hero. Your culture is so attractive that people can and know they could die on the way. You have to stop. If you don't change it, you will not change the system. If you do so, you will have your little place where it's safe and people will love to come, have little knowledge from you and go back to serve themselves. But if you say it's not a safe place and you don't allow factories to happen there, they will come, get a little knowledge of you and they will stay somewhere here because it's the best life. And that is what you're telling us. Is, I mean, excuse me, it is not you, you know? It's not you, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the system. And if you really want to change the system, we have to work together. There is no more boundaries. That's what I want to tell you. I'm sorry if I went far.